Greetings and salutations, YouTube. This is Etchy Charmed coming at you with a video on the Rogue of Space. So, here we go. The Rogue is one of the relocation classes of Homestuck, the passive counterpart to the Thief and the inverse of the Knight. Rogues, like Knights, deal with things like their aspect in rather unhealthy ways. Roxy felt like nothing, so she coped with that via drinking, and Rufio didn't know how to get out of the how to get out of the relationship he had with Damara, so he cheated on her with Horus. Rogues steal their aspect and give it to their allies instead of using it for themselves, pretty much making them the Robin Hoods of Homestuck. Also, rogues seem to be rather friendly and outgoing in general. As for the space aspect, space is the inverse of time and has to do with space itself, mass, velocity, physics, gravity, size, creation, and is one of the cardinal halves that make up reality. It seems that space players seem to have abnormal hobbies or interests in comparison to other members of their species or age. Kanai with fashion, Jade with nuclear science, and Calliope with making friends. It's, it's also been confirmed in Homestuck that the more space players in tune with their aspect, the more lonely and empty inside they feel, like space itself. Also said by Calliope that space seems to be a sort of timed explosion of sorts, waiting to roar to life and then show everyone who's master, collapsing in on itself and bringing everyone with it. Space players are also tasked with the creation of the Genesis Frog, aka the New Universe, with the assistance of their knight if their session has one. The Rogue of Space would have difficulty coping with their talent slash skills, as well as their responsibility as the breeder of the Genesis Frog, possibly dealing with burnout due to everyone pressuring them, leading them to leading them to push their responsibilities onto someone else, like their knight, for example. To deal with this, they would need someone to help them distribute their responsibilities instead of holding it or pushing it onto someone else, leading to a much happier frog breeder. As for their powers, the Rogue of Space would have the power to steal mass, velocity, and other such things and give it to their allies. Did an ally lose a weapon, the Rogue would be able to summon it and then give it back to them. They, could, they would also have the power to summon physical existing objects in general, but yeah. Does an ally need to hit harder and faster? The Rogue of Space would be able to donate mass and velocity to their cause of kicking ass. For even more support, the Rogue of Space could steal size from the enemy and then give it to their allies, or they could take weight slash gravity from heavy objects like boulders and stuff like that and then use it to weigh the, the opposing side down. I believe that's all I have to say on the matter. If you've enjoyed this video, then please like and share it. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe and leave requests in the comments below along with any constructive criticism you might have. Also, I would like to I would like to mention to people to members to fans of Homestuck that don't that don't know that I believe today that the game sw Hive Swap is out today. So yeah, if you didn't already know that, uh feel free to go out and buy the game on Steam. I probably shouldn't need to mention that, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. So enough rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I bid you dudes adieu. Bye.